As you can see behind me, I've been exploring various fingering combinations on the banjo that I inherited from my brother. One of the things I discovered on the banjo I inherited it was that he left behind instructions about what each string should be tuned to, and so basically he tuned this banjo to the key of F, but it used C as the reference note for the chord, so it's an inversion of F. One thing I, you, you'll note about any kind of open tuning instrument. This is open tuning because if it's in tune, you can play a single chord simply by strumming it. In this case, the chord is F, but it's an inversion. And that means these two notes, as in the previous video, are the same note. And these three notes are actually the same note, but on different octaves. All right, that leaves the F, which is this string, and the A, which is this string, to complete an inversion of the chord F. Once again, to reiterate, tuning it, these two notes should be identical. Play the fifth fret. Tune that up a little bit. Fifth fret on the C plays the F. Fourth fret on the F plays the A. Third fret on the A plays the C again. So that's the tuning on this instrument. And I'm going to honor it as I like to, to honor my brother's reference to the way the evangelist was left to me. All I did there was demonstrate that in an open tuned instrument, you can play with just two fingers and get quite a nice succession of fingering tones that come together. It's almost in a sense like playing a harmonica. Any note you play in a harmonica is, a, makes up part of a chord, a dyad or a triad, perhaps even more notes. Anyway, in this instrument, so we want to start simple. Instead of exploring all these complicated fingerings that I put up here to make full chords, bar and otherwise on the banjo, I'm going to start off in this second video with just a little bit of exposure to how the banjo can be played in two finger combinations. And like I said, it's all in the key of F. So you see, that's a very horizontal development of a two-finger type approach to playing the banjo. Now let's see if I can take it out a little bit further now, using three-finger rolls.
a little extemporaneous composition, which began with two finger note combinations, then went to full finger combinations, and then just returned back to the root chord, which is F in one inversion or another. Now, the one of the things I did learn about doing these various inversions, just because it's the same chord in terms of the combination of notes, doesn't mean you necessarily want to land there at the end of a statement. For instance, listen to this. And listen to this. You'd much prefer, at the end of a tune, to end up on this finger now, this one. Here's also an F. Both this F and this F, which is open, are nice ones to start with. This is a great F to end on, which means if you really want to play the banjo in a very listenable way, you're going to need to learn all kinds of different fingerings because those fingerings are ways of resolving or leading to other chord combinations and notes. Anyway, that's my next step forward in this self-inflicted banjo series. And I hope, uh, if it doesn't necessarily sound particularly musical, at least it's instructive in terms of, one, the general concept of music, and two, how to apply it to a banjo. Thanks a lot for watching.